Hello and welcome to another one of D's ADD videos. Today we're going to be looking at the concept of counting techniques, a repeat example in the data set. So let's consider the following data set. Zero, oop, repeat, 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 and another repeat. Okay, so here we're going to have three different R factorials in the denominator, excluding the one factorials for the single term of zero and one okay this data set has 10 observations if you were to add all these up you'd see that there's 10 total so n is 10 and that's going to be your numerator n factorial 10 factorial and then the number of repeats for one is that there's two ones so you would have a two factorial for one there's three fives so we would have a three factorial for fives and then there's two sixes so then we would have a two factorial for six okay and then when you do your total what you're gonna do is you're gonna have the ten factorial over the two times the three times the two that you got from these here then you might say hey wait that doesn't add up to ten you lied to me and I, I would say remember there's a one factorial for this one so there's a one factorial for the zero there's a one factorial for the three and a one factorial for the four. So one plus one plus one is three, plus three is six, plus four is 10. So it does add up to be a 10, all right? So now what do we do? Well, we look at simplifying this. So we multiply it out and I skip these numbers, but we're at 10 times nine times eight times seven, all the way down to three factorial. And I stopped at three because there's a three factorial in the denominator as well. So then you can cancel that. And then at that point, you would say, okay, well, let me try to simplify a little bit more. And you would notice that two factorial is two, which goes into four twice, leaving a two up there. And this is not an example video, so I, I just you would multiply all that out. And once you did that, you would get the final answer. You can check the work if you want to of that. All right? So that's basically it with uh, the repeats. If you have n items with repeats in your list. So if there were no repeats, it'd just be n factorial. But with repeats, you divide by the number of repeats factorialized, all right? It does get a little bit more complex with combinations and permutations. What you have to take into account there is we're going to be looking at a larger group, and we're going to try to arrange a smaller subgroup of the larger group. That's what permutation combinations deal with. And that's a whole different video, so make sure you practice the fundamentals before you go to more complex stuff. And check out the example videos. Pause them as always for best results. Practice, practice, practice. Thank you and have a nice day.